Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. This is my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. It's time for more Nancy Drew. I'm your Gibbs and I have another brand new game for me. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this game, but this is going to be a blind playthrough of Nancy Drew number 24. The Captive Curse. Ooh. So, for those of you that don't know, I have played a few other Nancy Drew games. The links for the playlist will be in the description. So, if you're curious to see how well I handle Nancy Drew, go ahead and watch some of my previous videos. Or, hold on, because we're going to play this one. So, let's go ahead and click the case file. For centuries, a fearsome monster has been stalking Castle Finster. Legend has it that once it is on the prowl, it won't return to the woods until it finds a new victim. A wealthy German investor, Marcus Bohm, has called me to Castle Finster to help him scare out the truth in this bizarre and terrifying case. Is that it? I think that's it. Case file closed. Whoa, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, we don't need to look at the detective business because we are already spent quite a. I always use my magnifying oh, shoot. glass to get out of here. <laughs> we already know how to do that. What I am curious to see is uh, what's this over here? Oh, her uh, scrapbook. So obviously these are all of the previous games I have just played. Shadow at Water's Edge. So I'm going to be playing them in order from this point forward. I have also played the the latest one, number twenty eight which was Ghost at Thornton Hall. So anyways, I'm continuing to enjoy Nancy Drew, so I'm going to continue to play them. Uh, Alright, so Yuri, that was in... Uh, we had to look at this in the last episode, from what I remember. So that's going to do it. We're going to go ahead and hit our fabulous tickets and go on a plane. And we're going to definitely be playing on Senior Detective. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I play a lot of casual adventure games. I uh, probably recorded about 50 of them or more. And I typically play on casual mode, but I'm challenging myself for Nancy Drew to play on the more difficult level. Supposed to be Frankenstein? <laughs> Run! Okay, that actually is pretty scary. Okay, I guess we're here, folks. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to save the game. Uh, start. And I want to check out my phone. I don't know sure if it's... Whoa, it's wacky and it's different. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take our first picture. Huh. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Got a couple different people we can call. Ooh, Frank and Joe Hardy. Ooh, Hart. ND plus NN. Aw, oh, we should call Nick. Hey Nick, or Ned, sorry. <laughs> Nick. Hello, you called Ned's telephone. Please leave a telephone message. Why does he sound all garbly? Okay, we're gonna call Frank and Joe. Hi, you've reached Frank Party. I am busy. Alright, I don't know if that's just a glitch with my game right now, but, uh. 
Wallpaper, we can change this to bah Bahamas, yeah. Ringtone, we want cat. Actually, alright, we'll do it. I'll try to remember that cat means I've got a message. Ah, right, cool. The phone is different. I probably have to, like, change that every game, right? Change the look of the phone. Ah, yes, because I'm playing on Senior Detective, there is no task list. You're gonna figure it out all by yourself. That's a creepy doorbell, is what that is. Hello? Hello? Open up, please. No, thank you. We already have one. <laughs> what? What? This is Nancy Drew. Please let me in. This is Lucas. Please let me out. What? What? This is what you sound like when you say that. What? Can I talk to someone else about coming in? No, but if you can find the match, maybe I'll let you in. All right. Find the match. Oh, really? I have to play this game, do I? Alright, so slanties. With little shoes, what? These two look close, don't they? Mm. Oh, wait, no, no, because he's got shorts. I got it! Okay, I solved it. Nice job! Now for part two of your test. Lucas! You passed, good job, gotta go. <laughs> Nancy, sorry about Lucas. I'll have a little talk with him later. Come meet me in my study on the second floor. Welcome to Germany. Cool, I don't know what this is here. 20, I don't know what that means, but we'll go ahead and I guess we'll go in. Sure, why not? What do we have here? Can we get inside? Why are you bothering us? Why are you bothering me? I just want to ask a few questions. So I guess they're all afraid of the monster? Uh, let's see here. Anything in the well? I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. There, a splash. Something's in there. Oh, we took money out of a wishing well. Oh well, we do more? Oh, it's money! Okay, see, we went up to 25. I'm not sure what the money is called, but maybe we'll find out eventually. Is it? Well, money! Can I keep doing it? <laughs> or is it just seven? We'll try one more time, folks. Bear with me here. Mm. Just taking a drink of my coffee. Got Amazonian coffee oh, today. Oh, Bucket, you always know what to bring me. Okay, one more time, one more time. I'm addicted to it. Shh, don't tell anyone. Hey, I didn't get any that time. It's at 27 again. This is the last time, folks, I promise. Well, last time for now. And Nancy bravely explored the well. What the hell is that? <laughs> Okay, now I want to do it one more time. Uh, I don't want to. I guess I don't get to keep whatever the hell that was. One more time. I broke my promise. I know bad gives is bad. That's okay. Shh. I like the splashing sound. It's gonna be empty this time. Really? There's something different every time. <laughs> oh my god, this well is awesome. Okay, this is uh another thing to add to my bucket list of things that I got from a bucket. That doesn't count as it money. Crap. Okay, we're done in here. I might come back there later when you're not watching. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can see what's on this side of the, the courtyard. Looks like there's something here. What's this? Going home? Oh, what's this? ESL musical note quiz. Hmm. Can't take it with me then? I'm gonna need that. I'm sure of it. I am sure I'm going to need that. Oops, no, not here. Anything over here I can do? Just doing a 360 here. Oops, something shiny here. 
It was money? Okay. Ooh, we can go up here. Hello? Nobody wants to visit with us? That's too bad. Okay, let's go into here. Mm. No, that's exit, I'm sure of it. I'm not sure I'm done in here. Hmm, what's this? There must be a specific order to play these in. Really? How am I supposed to know what order? Do 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 do. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We just started. I don't know puzzles yet. I'm still trying to get uh, familiar with the area here. See, that's my phone. Hi, Ned. Sorry, the reception is a little bad here. So when are you getting in? I've got the perfect romantic getaway plan for the two of us. Took a lot of work to put together, but it's gonna be worth it. Well, there's been a hang-up. Sorry. Of course there has. Does this mean I have to cancel our plans again? Yes, but I promise I'll hurry home as soon as possible. I've heard that one before. I'm sorry I can't be more available, but I'm in the middle of something pretty important here. So what? I'll just hang out at home being bored? Nancy Drew, international sleuth, gets to go out adventuring, while Ned stays at home. Again. I'm sorry you're not having a better time. If you're not having fun, then go out and have fun. You know what? Forget that I even said anything. I can see that I'm not that important to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So forget it. Fine. Fine. Oh my God. That was... Not great. Nope. That was an argument. Mm, what does that mean? I have to translate that. I'm going to have to get another dictionary, just like in the last game. Cool. I'm completely lost. I'm going to need a map of this place. Hmm. Okay, we'll take that, that loose little piece there. No one's gonna notice. It's over here. Dishes! Castle Crier. What was this all about? Do you believe the monster is real? Mm, almost not. Oh, 89% say yes. Hm. There you go, German vocabulary bite. Cool. Alright. So I guess if I need to figure out a couple words, I can... Oh, there's a lady over here. Hello. You could have said hello once I came in. That looks like the lady in the last game. I shouldn't do this right now. <laughs> Go through her bag. Nancy Drew, is it? I understand you and I have much in common. I'm not so sure. I don't believe we've met officially. Meet officially? What? With papers and a stamp? What is this? Meet officially. <laughs> Silliness. I am Renate. Officially. And you are Nancy. Officially. Is that official enough for you? Should I invite a third party to witness the exchange, maybe? No, that's all right. What did you mean when you said we have a lot in common? Uh, perhaps I'm wrong about that. You are here for the monster, yes? Uh, sure. Yes. This... This is not a wise thing to do, especially not for you. What do you mean? Let me tell you what I know. You're here for the monster. Now I tell you something you don't know. This monster, he's here for you. What makes you so sure of that? <laughs> I'm a storyteller, Nancy. I deal in fate and tragedy. And when a young girl suddenly finds herself called to a monster's lair, it is always the first breath of a tragedy. I should know. Leave while you still can, Nancy. I'm not going to do that. I didn't think that you would. Whoa, she is. You're part of this story now. That's creepy. What did you mean when you said I was part of the story now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You'll figure it out. I think you're just trying to scare me. And if I am, is that such a bad thing? You have good reason to be afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid of what? 
<laughs> if you don't know by now, look around, think. It is a dangerous time to not know who you are and who other people think you might be. Okay. Where are your favorite places to visit? The places with the best food. The people in the north are dull as mud through dirty spectacles, but they make a knockwurst and apple fritter that will take up residence in your soul. Oh, and in the Black Forest they make cakes, these chocolate cakes with cherries and cream. Oh, what I would give for one right now. There is nothing like having a full belly and taking a nap near a fire. That does sound nice. It sure does. It is. Sweet food is my one true weakness in this world. It isn't great for the old teeth. It makes me fall fast asleep. But those are small prices to pay. Oh, all this talk has made me hungry. Me too. Have you heard much about this monster? Let me tell you a story a friend told me. She stayed here with her family a long time ago when she was a young girl. Back then the woods outside the castle walls were a very dangerous place, especially for a little girl. That's why her father told her she was never going to the woods alone. This little girl? She had a small red scarf that came all the way from India. It had a parade of gold-stitched elephants, all walking in a line. She was very proud of it, and how far it had traveled just to belong to her. One day, when she was playing in the field, a gust of wind carried the scarf deep into the woods. When the girl's older sister saw her walk into the forest, she tried to stop her, but it was too late. She couldn't catch up. Two girls went out into the woods. One came back. What happened? There were monsters in the woods that night. What, what kind, kind of monsters? monsters? Does it matter what kind? That girl never came home, never saw her family, her friends ever again. Who cares what name? What kind of monster it was? That means nothing. But, but, but. The story about the girls. Who is this friend who told it to you? You wouldn't know her. <sighs> I'm just curious. Is she your age? Is she from here? Why won't it matter to you? Leave it alone. Why are you here? I'm a traveler, much like you. I see the world. I tell stories. But why are you here now? I do not know yet. If our time together is a comedy, then I was brought here by coincidence. If our time is a tragedy, then it must be fate. Oh, that's adorable. Love that. Thanks. See you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, so we're going to have to wait, obviously, until it's later. So that I can snoop around in your bag there. Don't mind me though. Oh, shiny thing. Okay, so we're gonna be looking for shiny things for money, apparently. Euros. I'm assume they're euros. Okay, we gotta find our Nancy room here. Phone ringing. What did you do to Ned? Hi, Frank. I'm serious. You better hope his brain is under warranty because you have broken it. Oh no, is he really upset? I've never seen him this upset before. Joe's working overtime to cheer him up. I don't know exactly what's going on, but you might want to give him a call. Ugh, this connection is awful. Give me a call when you've got a better line. Let me know what you're up to. Joe and I will keep an eye on Ned. Oh, Ned Bye. needs to grow up a little. Nancy's jet-setting right now. She's solving mysteries. No need to get all upset and stuff. Okay, where the heck is Nancy's room? I just want to find that right now. I don't know if we just have to go upstairs or what. Oops. Where am I going? Uh. So we'll go this way. This must be the room that Carl set up for me. Nancy Drew's room. Yay! Let's go. Ooh, it's fancy. I like fancy. Got a nice desk here. Set up shop. Oh, I don't want to make phone calls yet. No. Hi. You get in touch with Ned yet? I've tried, but I can't get past his voicemail. Well, Joe's been keeping him company. That's good. Ugh, relationships. Tell me about it. <laughs> it's funny that I'm more comfortable tracking down some dangerous saboteur than I am having one of those relationship talks. <laughs> Same here. Occupational hazard, I guess. So, what's going on in Germany? I'm in a pretty spooky old castle, and the people here are being terrorized by a monster. What's your take on the situation? 
I'm not so sure. I've got a really strange feeling about this place. Well, if you need anything, give me a call. Will do. Okay, I guess we'll talk a little bit further. The people here seem to think that the same monster has been attacking the castle for years, maybe even centuries. Have you ever heard of anything like that before? Interesting. Well, nothing could live that long. Maybe it's a handy scapegoat. A scapegoat? Well, growing up, every time Joe broke something, he'd blame me. I'd do the same to him. Maybe whenever someone does something really awful, they take advantage of this monster story to throw suspicion off of themselves. The people here must be scared. I can't get them to answer their doors. Really? You've tried? Yeah, no one wants to talk. They must really be scared of this thing. Indeed. This has not been one of my better days. What's going on? Well, Ned and I aren't getting along, and I'm in a damp castle that has monster problems, and the airline lost my luggage. Oh, that's awful. That officially qualifies as a terrible day. Anything I can say to cheer you up? I don't know. Maybe. Give it a shot. I'm sure you'll solve the case? That helps, I guess. Your luggage is probably somewhere great, like Tahiti, enjoying a nice tropical vacation. With all the traveling you do, it deserves a break. True. Thanks for the effort. No problem. All right, see you later. See you later. See ya. He's charming. I like him already. All right, well, this is where we're going to pause, and we'll see you in the next chapter or next episode of Nancy Drew, The Captive Curse. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.